Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today what I'll be making is a dragon wire skeleton. Now I got the idea from Nerdforge. Um, um, There's a YouTube channel where Martina, she makes wonderful um, medieval um, project, projects. And in this one, uh, one uh, where she made an ender dragon. Um, where she started with making the wires for the skeleton of the dragon just to get of the figure of how it would be and when I looked at it I saw it was looked very awesome and I am a huge fan of hers and I will leave a link to her video and her channel in the description down below so you can check her out and we'll be heading out to where I explain to you how I make the dragon skeleton Okay, so the first thing that I did is when she um, showed a clear picture of her sketch of the dragon, I took a screenshot, um, taped it on the PC screen and copied it over on a piece of paper. When that was finished, I uh, uh, took some wire and the type of wire I used, it was just lying around, I just used it. And it's not the type of wire she used, I'm not sure actually what it's called. Um, but mine was a little bit harder, rougher and harder to bend. I had some tools with me to use and it took a little while to get the hang of it. So I took some wire and first laid it out on the piece of paper. I made the spine, the foot, front legs, the back legs and the rib cage I made from the sketch. Just I just laid the wire on the page and just bend it in that way it was very hard the wire is hard and afterwards I made the skull now the skull is not very easy I tell you where I wanted I wanted at all the whole skull to be made out of the one wire so I made the loop where it has to go through and the jaw and I turned around and made the eye and both ends ended up with the horns and I liked it like that now I wanted it all to fit together I started with using wood glue but it took very long to get dry and I'm not just sure it's a good idea I'm actually very used in using um, wood glue with almost everything it's almost the main thing the main glue that I use so I um, stopped with trying with that and I moved on with Prestig just to hold everything together and afterwards I wanted to uh, now I wanted to get going with the wings now when I looked at the wings that she drew it kind of looks very small to me so I draw it over another piece of paper erase it a little bit so you can still see it and I draw a new wings um, that I liked and I liked it very much and with this and with the same with the spine I laid the wire on top of it getting the shape of the wings it was a few um, pieces of wire but I got the, um, the shape of it and accidentally ripped the paper in the process but I taped it together and with all of the pieces now that I have and the dragon wings cut out and with both wings done and I taped it all together with tape prestig and a bit of luck I finished my dragon wire skeleton it, it, it took like two days to make it well the first day I was almost done with it but my hands started to, uh, so, to ache a little bit but so I stopped there, finished the next morning, and before I started with the wings, I saw that I forgot to add the wings. So I had to take off the whole back legs and the rib cage and start all over with the prestige. And there it is, done I'm done with my dragon wire skeleton. And again, I will leave the link to her channel and her video in the description down below. But before you go to her video, please subscribe, like 
and leave a comment and share with your friends. Thank you all for watching and I hope I see you all again. Bye bye.